Hi there, Mindstorms and Spike enthusiasts. I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms and in this video I'm sharing an FPV racing challenge that I did with uh, pod racers. What I did is I built two pod racer models with Spike and Robot Inventor and then here in the back I added an um, OpenMV camera and this camera has Wi-Fi capabilities so then I used the Wi-Fi video stream of this camera to stream uh, video, live video, real-time video from the camera to my smartphone and I put the smartphone in a drone kit mask it's basically a lens that you put over your head so um, I could uh, like <laughs> race as if I'm in a pod racer the people at Drone Mask kindly sent me a couple of these masks. Um, they come in a beautiful box built in Norway apparently. So let's open it and see what is inside. Um, it comes with some cling film, uh, but uh, let's try and rub it off. And then uh, the box is made real tight, just uh, like uh, an Apple product and it slides open here um, the um, uh, mask comes with a nice uh, travel bag I guess um, because I imagine um, also using this thing while traveling I tried using it in a car once uh, to watch a movie in the car um, but that wasn't <laughs> I, it, I thought it was would be nice because um, usually in a car it's too bright to watch your uh, iPhone screen um, but um, I got a bit nauseous because of the bumps in the rides and um, a different image on uh, my phone as you can see the drone mask comes with a lot of wires um, this one is an uh, Apple Lightning USB-C wire. The previous one was a regular USB-C USB-C and there was a little uh, tiny dongle that was a converter between female USB-C and male micro USB. Um, there is a booklet inside but the whole thing is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's a nice thank you card with some pictures on there. Um, um, I don't think I ever uh, read it or even watched uh, the pictures inside. So let's see what is really in the back here for the drone mask. Um, the textile is um, feels like natural, a bit rough. Um, there is another silicate gel in here to keep things dry. Um, and well here the whole uh, mask comes out it's um, pretty light and uh, the outer fabric feels comfortable to the touch um, and so when you open the zipper you can um, see the interior and between these clips is where you put your phone and um, then you zip it back uh, closed in the back here you can see the lens once your phone is inside you can change the distance from your eyes uh, it changes your field of view a bit and I like to open it because otherwise my nose would be obscuring the bottom part of the screen um, when you uh, look at it in the sides there are some holes you can use to poke your fingers through and um, uh, do something on the screen of your phone which is uh, i found that very very handy uh, and then here there is um, a little uh, lid a camera lid and it probably exposes the camera so you can do some augmented reality stuff but I haven't tried that. This video is about um, like virtual reality racing. So let's go back to racing. Um, remote control of the model is done by a gamepad controller. Um, in the case of the Spike model, there is an um, LMS ESP32 to connect to the gamepad. Um, and this, um, this model here, 
just runs PyBricks and um, the Xbox controller that I have connects directly so there is no board needed in between. Um, let's have a look at some races. I created a racing track in my living room and um, here I'm setting everything up to uh, race my uh, son. Um, he's uh, racing the yellow pod racer and I'm racing the green one. Um, we're all set here uh, and here we're <laughs> We are chasing each other through the living room. It was a lot of fun because um, when you're just remote controlling uh, the pod racers, it's near impossible to go under the table and avoid all the chair legs. But because you're um, inside a pod racer and you can watch everything from the point of view of the pilot, it's much easier to steer. Um, it's also uh, much more immersive and it feels much faster. If you like this video and um, if you enjoy the idea of FPV racing and gamepad controlling, remember to hit the subscribe button. For my uh, personal preference, the uh, Lego motors could have a little more uh, power here. Um, I, for me, it felt a tad slow, but I think for many kids and many beginner FPV racers, uh, this will be quite fast and quite a uh, thrill ride here. I have both an OpenMV H7 Plus and an OpenMV RT1060 uh, and I found that the um, video stream quality of the old H7 Plus with um, a uh, Wi-Fi shield was actually better than the new RT1060. Uh, I think the separate processor was able to send sharper picture at uh, a higher rate. Okay, that was a fun race. This concludes my video about FPV racing with pod racers and Mindstorms and uh, Robot Inventor and Spike. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I inspire you to create your own FPV races, uh, maybe with cars, maybe with pod racers, maybe with something else. Um, please uh, share your videos and I hope to see you in my next video. Remember to subscribe and See you later. Bye bye.